Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about the application of derivative. So now I will show you the technique how to answer the question. Find a such that the graph of the derivative of the function of f pass through the point 1, 1. First, we need to find first derivative of the function. So we got about negative number 1 and we have a e to the power of s minus 1. Now, they ask about the point 1, 1. That means s equal to number 1 and y equals to number 1. So we just input in here. So this one we change for number one, and this one you got about e to the power of zero. So this one we change for number one. So we put negative number one go in here. So you got about two, and you got about a. So a equal to number two. So we had a function in here. So question number two, we need to draw the graph and we analyze about the function. So we just have first the derivative of the function in here. So we put this one equals to number 0 so we got about negative number 1 plus 2e to the power of s minus 1 equals to number 0 so we put negative number 1 go to the right and we divide both sides with number 2 So we put about ln e to the power of s minus 1 equal to ln of 1 over 2. So you got about s minus 1 equals to ln of 1 over 2. We put negative number 1 go to the right. So we just have only one critical point. Now, let's go to a do about variation table. So we got about s first derivative of the function and the function in here. We got about negative infinity and positive infinity, and we have the value we put in here. On the left. If we try to put number 0 in here, you got about negative. If we try to put number 3 in here, you got about positive. So the graph should be like this. So we have the positive in here. And we have the positive in here. So we will input this one, go to the function. That should be about f of ln 
1 over 2 plus 1 and then we go down on this way letter that they go up again if we wrap the function it should be like this And this is about absolute minimum value. So let's go to the question number 3. Determine if x test tech negative values. That means based on the graph in here, we can see they are always positive number. If they want to test a negative values, they should use about complex number. That's the end. Thank you for watching.